Details in the shooting near Atlanta University in the center there and their libraries. Four college students continue to recover. Police are looking for the gunman. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens spoke exclusively to the mother of one of the victims and the father of another one. Well, Jeff, those were who were in the middle of the mayhem say it's still hard to shake days later, but the families of the victims we spoke with say they are grateful their daughters are alive and surprisingly ready to go back to school. She said that she heard one shot and then people started running. So she heard a second one and then she attempted to run, but she fell not knowing she had been hit. Emily Ennis says her 18 year old daughter Erin had no idea the second shot she heard pierced her thigh. Erin Ennis was one of four young women shot at a block party celebrating the start of school outside the Atlanta University Center Library. The performance art major wasn't up for speaking with us on camera, but her mother recalls the first phone conversation after the shooting. She did say there was a shooting. Um, again, she just said she was grazed, so she thought. But when Ennis arrived at Grady, they found out it was more serious. We were shocked that even she was shocked. She didn't know even at that time um, that there was a bullet in her leg. Ennis says the bullet is still lodged in her daughter's thigh. She says doctors say trying to remove it could do more harm. The family is grateful for the Good Samaritan who helped her while waiting for the ambulance. She's chosen not to live in fear. She's not fearful of going back on campus. Hi, my name is Kia Thomas. I am a sophomore here at Clark Atlanta University. 19 year old Kia Thomas was also shot in the chaos. She's on a full ride scholarship with the Clark Atlanta volleyball team. We spoke to her father by phone. She is a very strong person. She's very determined and she's going to be okay. I'm just thankful that my daughter is who she is and she is strong and determined. He says she's ready to move forward. Today is her first day of going back to class. 18 year old Elise Spencer appears to be the most seriously injured. She was shot in the chest, but has been tweeting from the hospital. A GoFundMe set up for her has already surpassed its goal in less than 24 hours. No new information on the fourth victim, Maya Williams McLaren, but we're told she too is expected to be okay. And take a good look at this surveillance video. This is the man police believe is responsible for the shooting. If you have any information on his identity or whereabouts, contact police immediately. Latasha, Go. thank you. You can find that video on the 11 Alive app along with the very latest developments in this story.